We're trying something new today. It's a different setup. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Um, it's me, it's Anna. The amount of iced coffee I've been drinking in the past month is absolutely insane. Before I went to America, I've never ever had coffee in my life. I like just hated it. I really didn't like it. Like I tried it, but I just absolutely hated it so much. Oops. But today I just felt like showing you my reading essentials. Like the things that I use when I'm reading because I don't, as you can see, I am absolutely obsessed with reading. Um, I also have a box here that is absolutely filled with books. Um, you guys saw that in one of my last videos. Like I got all the books out of this closet and put it in there um, so that I can ship it to Melons if I don't get the visa. But I won't hear anything about that until like May 6th. So we'll see. But there are so many books in there. There are so many books in here. And then I have to ask my sister if she can send a picture, but I have so many books at home. It's like there's so many books in the Netherlands, it's it's absolutely insane. I need to stop buying books, but I don't. There's also still books over there. They're fan fictions and other type of books, but and I also have my Kindle, but it doesn't, you know, like I need to stop getting books. I say that. I've been saying that for a year, but I don't listen to myself and I keep buying books, so it's really my own fault. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to show you guys my reading essentials today because it just felt like it. Is I don't know. Um, my LGBTQIA plus book recommendations for Pride Month has been getting so many views and I felt like posting another bookish related video because I just, I love it. <laughs> I set a goal, like a reading goal last year. Uh, last year my reading goal was to read 100 books in a year, which I reached, um, like easily. But, um, I also started like annotating my books and writing in them and, you know, tabbing them and I haven't like... Okay, so let me. Okay, TikTok made me do it. Okay, <laughs> that sounds weird, but Book Talk made me do it. Um, like before I joined Book Talk, I never even thought of putting a pen or a highlighter or tabs or anything in my book because that was a crime. I thought that was a crime, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> um. Yeah, like I started tabbing my books last year, uh, like most of my books are tabbed, but then I also started like annotating my books and you know, I like annotating my books because like I put more thought into reading my books and it just takes me a little longer to finish my books because I'm a fat, at least I like to say that, but I'm a fast reader in my opinion and I always felt like I was just flying through books and I felt like I never really enjoyed them because I was just reading so fast and I just could not find a way to slow down. So I started tabbing and annotating my books and that really helped me slow down. So I'm taking a lot more time to read. So for this year, I set another goal. I said, um, I told myself that I would read 50 books this year. So 50 books it is. I think I'm on like 13 books now or something, 12, 13, I don't really know. I've also been in a reading slump, uh, so I haven't really read much. But after reading The Stolen Air from Holly Black, I have been stupid and bought the entire collection on my Kindle, but then I wasn't satisfied with it because I wanted to annotate my books and like have it in my physical copies, like, you know, like show it off. But I didn't have it. Like I had it, but it was back in the Netherlands. It wasn't here. So I thought it was a good idea to just, you know, buy it. So I have so many copies now. I only have one copy of The Stolen Air, one copy of How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. But I've got three copies of the other books. I've got The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing right here. I am reading The Queen of Nothing right now because I finished The Wicked King last night. Like, I have them right here, right? The other one is right there, I'm reading it. Um, I have them on my Kindle. All these three books, plus uh, Taryn's book, um, are on my Kindle. And then I have more copies of these three books back in the Netherlands. I'm so dumb. I bought these because I wanted to annotate them. Because I'm just, I'm, because I'm just dumb and I don't make good decisions, so. Yeah, I got way too many books. Yeah, so I started annotating my books 
and it really helps me to take my time to read my books and actually put more thought into it and oh that brings me on the first thing that i use when i'm reading no it doesn't it actually brings me on the second thing um but let me just show you what my annotated books look like, look like now this by the way last night at the telegraph club i love this book so much um as you can see i heavily tapped this book and it's you know it's it's full i wrote in it i cried on it um this is this is the first book that i annotated and i am absolutely obsessed with it because i also like color correct my tabs so the tabs are all just color coordinated with the fronts of the book which i'm absolutely obsessed with and then the only books that i don't tab and annotate are special editions like the stone air for example never ever in my life am i going to annotate that one there's no way because it's a special edition um red white and royal blue there's no way i'm annotating that one but like every single other book that you see here that's not a special edition is probably annotated so yeah um oh and also books that are signed i also don't annotate those so those books are all safe um, yeah, so that's one of the books that I annotated, and then I annotated The Cruel Prince, because I'm absolutely obsessed with this series, so I annotated this one, and then I annotated and tabbed this one, and then, like I said, I am currently reading, or well, I'm gonna start reading this one, so this one's still empty, um, but that brings me to what things I use when I'm reading. So of course when I'm reading, I don't like to dog ear my books, so I have an awesome um, book stopper, is that what we call it? I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. I got this one for Christmas, and it's, it's pictures of Harry. It's just pictures of Harry, that's it. I am absolutely obsessed. It's the best bookmark I've ever had, and I can't, like, I love it so much. So I use this to like, you know? mark where I left my book and then like I said oops oops I tab my books um I need to get new tabs actually because I'm out almost out of tabs um this is the one that I'm gonna use for the book for the queen of nothing because it like coordinates with um the colors of the book so let me just put that one in there again before I lose it and then these are the rest of my tabs like I said, I need to get more tabs because this is literally all I have left. This one, this one, this one, and these two that I haven't opened yet. So I really need to get new tabs, but I love these because these have a little, like, um, oh, what's it called again? What's it called? What's it called? They have, like, a, like lines on it, like a ruler. So if I want to, like, you know, underline something in my book, I can just very easily put this underneath and just underline it and... Be sure that I'm not doing it crooked or striking the entire sentence. Um, so I obviously also need a pen for that. I just use whatever pen I can find here. I didn't really buy any specific pens. I want to get gel pens though because I'm going to put my thoughts in the color that I highlight it with because I think that would look very cute but I just haven't been able to find any good highlighters yet. So if you guys have any highlighter recommendations let me know in the comments because I really need to find some. I got all my tabs from Amazon, by the way. Um, I think I, I can put them down in the description. Um, but they're amazing. I really like them. They're really good. And then to highlight my stuff, I use these highlighters from Target. The Zebra Midliner Creative Markers. Um, as you can see, there's like 15 different colors in here. And they're so good. Um, like they barely breathe through the page. They only bleed through the page when I accidentally made a mistake and I have to highlight it again. But let me see if I can find a page. They like barely bleed through it. It's, it's amazing. But as you can see, I like highlighted it with red here. And then the next page, you don't see it. Like it's not, it's not there. Like I don't. It doesn't bleed through, which is great, because I was scared that it was going to bleed through and, like, ruin, ruin my book. But it doesn't, so thank God for that. 
Um, and then the next thing that I use when I'm reading, um, since this house is very busy, because there's three young kids in it, um, it's always very noisy. So to, you know, have some peace and quiet when I'm reading, I use headphones. I used to use my AirPods for reading, but um, I'm someone who can read an entire day non-stop if she wants and I will only stop to get food or water or something else food related or drink related. Otherwise, I will not stop reading. So, you know, my AirPods, the battery life wasn't that long. So I had to invest in some earphones and I've been looking at these earphones for so, so, so long. And then I finally, finally got the money together to get it because I will be honest with you, these were not cheap. Like these, these were expensive, like $300 expensive. Um, but they're awesome. They're really good. Like they have ambient sound, um, which just, you can just put on your headphones, but you can still hear what's going on around you. And then you've got ambient sound off. Like if you just turn it off, it's just like normal headphones. Like if you have earphones in that don't have noise canceling. And they've also got noise canceling. Uh, on it, which I use all the time because it's the best. I also use this ones when I go to the gym because my earphones, my AirPods would fall out every single time I would go to the gym. So these are multi-purpose for me. Um, these are the Sony ones. Yeah, these are the Sony's WH-1000XM4. Yeah, like I got these headphones from Target, but I think you can also get them from Amazon. Like they're the best. I really like these headphones. They're so good. I've had them for a month now I think and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're amazing. I don't know what I did with my life before I got them because they're so good. Oh also you can you know if you were going on a flight and you know you want to watch something on this TV they give you these annoying earphones that you have to plug in that always fall out of your ears. These headphones have a headphone jack at the bottom and they actually also have the cord so you can just Plug this into the TV on the airplane so you can watch and listen with your own headphones instead of the gross earphones that they give you. So that's, it's so good. It's amazing. I love it. Some people can do this, but some people can't. Um, I need to be in the, I don't know, sometimes I can, sometimes I can, but most of the time I can. I also have a playlist um, that I listen to when I'm reading. Let me see if I can find it. Um, yeah, it's just relaxing songs in there that will... I don't know, just help me focus or something. Um, sometimes I don't listen to music, I just put in the headphones and then just, you know, just read. Um, but I prefer to have like some noise in the background. So I put my headphones on and put on my playlist and then it's just, I put it on like a low volume. And so I made this entire playlist here on Spotify. It's two and a half hours long and it's great. I really like it. It's just, you know, sloft. <laughs> it's just slow, easy songs that, you know, you don't really have to pay attention to the songs. And it's, I really like this playlist. Sometimes I even listen to it when I'm not reading because it's just, it's great. And this, this is my most recent purchase and I am absolutely obsessed with it. Um, Nina Haynes did a great job of influencing me into buying this. Let me just tell you that. A reading journal. I got a reading journal. It's so, as you can see, like you can, there are so many different reading journals that they have. I got this from Papier, pa Papier? I don't know how to, how they pronounce it here, but in Dutch you pronounce it Papier, and that's how it's written. But I don't think that's how you pronounce it. So I apologize for butchering the word. Um, but this is the company, can you see it? I don't think you can see it. Yeah, this is the company that I ordered it from. And they have so many things. They have bullet journals, they have normal journals, and they have reading journals. Um, so I got the reading journal. I really like it. Um, I fill it in, obviously. The first page is just information about you. And then it has a reading wish list, which I filled in. Um, oh, apparently I only filled in one page. And then it has a book tracker where you can put in the books that you borrowed or lend it to someone. And then you've got a book index where you can put in all the books that you read and update them after you read them. Um, 
so mine's pretty full i've read 13 books apparently no technically 12 because i haven't read that one yet um yeah so i put that in and then here you've got the like book number one and then you can just fill in all the information about the book that you you know feel like you can put down i wrote down how much i rated it how many stars i gave it what format I use if it was audiobook, Kindle, or you know, physical book. And then you can put down where you got this book from. Um, and you can put in the summary of the book. And then you can also write down your favorite quotes, which I did. And then if you would read this book again, if you recommend this book, uh, first impressions, final thoughts, and keynotes. And on this page, you can write some extra notes. Um, I also have my you know, bookstagram. So for bookstagram, I usually go to Tumblr to get some like, you know, th thoughts that other people had about this book, take a screenshot and put that on my like review of the book that I post. So since I post that, you know, I think it's fun to also put them in the extra notes. So for this one, She Drives Me Crazy by Kelly Quinlan. It was a great book. I thought, how many stars did I read it again? I read it at four stars. Um, it was a great book. And then in extra notes, I wrote down, you know, in fake dating stories when they have to unexpectedly, unexpectedly kiss for the first time in front of people to really sell the lie. And they're both like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This feels so good. Why does this feel so good? This is all fake. What the fuck? Why am I getting nervous? And also happy? Oh shit. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, I annotate my books and it's just putting tabs on the gayest bits of the book. Queer books just heal something in me every time I read them, especially sapphic books. They always hit different. So yeah, that is what I do for every single book. You've got my last night at the Telegraph Club page. <laughs> Extra notes. Dating a communist is okay, but I draw the line of dating a girl. Reading last night at the Telegraph Club, like I think Aunt Jude is a lesbian. She definitely is. There's, she definitely is. And then this is page 13, which is empty. Well, not page 13, but book 13, which is empty because that one is for the Queen of Nothing, which I'm going to start reading now. And then I will update my reading journal because I like to. I'm trying to think if there's something else that I use for when I'm reading, but I don't think I do. I think this is all of it. Yeah, I, I love reading so much. Like in my head, there's just a little movie playing of what I'm reading, you know? So I can, like, I picture the characters and then I picture the places that they are in and then I picture what they're doing. So it's really just a mini movie that I'm watching in my head and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And it just helps me escape sometimes. So that is, <laughs> I think that's why I love reading because it's just amazing. I love it so much. Um, but I wanna get new books. I shouldn't, but I am gonna get more books. So you guys should leave you guys should tell me some of your like favorite books that you read um because i want to get some good recommendations give me whatever books you have give me whatever book recommendations you can think of let me know your favorite books just whatever because i would love to get more books so i hope you guys are all doing great and this is it so you guys will see me in the next one bye